everybody. Welcome back to MoPro's Reef. I'm Wayne, and today I'm going to do some water changes. Um, I had a request that uh, somebody asked me how I did my water changes, and uh, I'm just going to show you what I do. I use this. Uh, I'm pretty sure this came with the attachment that goes to like your sink or whatever, and uh, you can turn that on, but I didn't want to put a bunch of gravel down my, my drain, so I'm just going to do this into uh, four buckets, and uh, I'm going to siphon the sand bed out. I'll show you how I get the water back into the tank from my bins. Actually, let's show you what the tank looks like from up top. So if you think you have a clean sand bed and you don't siphon your sand bed, wait till you see what uh, this water looks like when it's in my buckets. It's pretty bad. I can't believe a month ago, um, I did forget to mention in my last video that I did pull my Zeovit reactor out halfway through that five month cycle where I did nothing because I just had no nutrients in the tank. I think I tested like once and everything was zero zero and that one coral that was washing out, I thought it was because it was low nutrients. I didn't know it was probably the red bugs. And uh, when I did that, I just had green hair algae explosion and my bryopsis came back. I don't know what happened or how I got it in here, but uh, it was a failure somewhere along the lines and it was bad. I'm so I went back to the Kent Tech M magnesium and I just fed my fish this was when I just had the Bartlett Antheus in here I just fed them pellet food like out of this feeder right here five times a day but it was only dropping like 10 pellets I was starving everybody and then I bought uh, five emerald crabs and by god there is not one piece of algae other than coralline algae in my system right now I'm so happy I got rid of that I mean it was everywhere it was there. I should have filmed it, but you know back then I was still anti-hobby at the at the time. All right, let's get busy. Just pick up as much sand as uh, it feels about right, and then pinch the hose kind of slowly, and most of the sand falls back out, and a lot of the detritus gets sucked up. You can already see my water is getting completely covered in junk. All right, now what I do get from one bucket to the other bucket. Um, I do have stuff on the ground. Some plastic, but I just put my finger over the top of it. Rip this up. Take the hose out. So like if my sand bed gets blown around, or I can suck it up where it's really heavy, and then just drop it where it's, there's not that much. All right, so I just finished siphoning the sand bed and dumping the buckets. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in this little uh, little pump and just blow everything off the rocks. So stick this in the water, let this thing fire up. Try to get as much sand, and like the, the spots where I couldn't reach with the uh, the siphon. Now I'll just blast the sand bed with this. My water change days is my filter socks here. I only change them once a week. I should probably do that a little more often, but I don't. My skimmer, that normally gets changed twice a week. So I'm due to change that. This is my uh, salt container. This is the uh, 45 gallon Darut. Um, it's heated. I started spinning it up uh, yesterday. And I was a little off on my specific gravity, so I'm just gonna check it again real quick. I try to keep it uh, at pretty much exactly 35 parts per thousand, or uh, right between 1.025 and 1.026. Okay, so now what I got, I got this big beast of a hose right here. Got me a J Bull pump, so I'm just gonna turn this on. Stick this in here. All right, so what I need to do now is I shut this valve off. That's my return pump, okay? Shut this valve off. This is for my uh, Zeovit reactor. And I open this valve. This is the one that goes to that hose. So that's gonna shoot all the water from that brood back up in. 
How do I know where to stop? Well, since I shut all the pumps off before I started doing my, my siphoning, I'm pretty much just gonna take the water level to the bottom of the, uh, the weirs here. And that'll get me close. And then from there on, I can, just, I can fine tune it. Look at my water count. Look at this. Absolutely sickening, man. So I'm going to do this uh, probably for another month straight every week and then uh, I'll probably do the sand bed every other week from there on out.